off of the Season 2 leaderboards. And it looks like we are good and ready to go. So the 75 players qualified, dropping into the match. We're going to get this game underway. You can see everybody coming in. We're going to hop right on to Mini H1 as he's dropping in to the Villas area. So this area is kind of different from Old Z1. They've added in quite a few um, little changes. Uh, Oh, we're going to switch actually over to Kuba. Kuba's going to be something to keep an eye on. I I love the changes over at the villas, though. The construction buildings and right. some of the more loot there than there was originally on Z1. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely a cool area within one of the areas that got changed up quite a bit that I actually like. My fun fact for this, and I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, you will find more duct tape in this area than you will anywhere else on the map. All right. If you need duct tape, well, I think go to it's the villas. Like, I think it's like they were trying to build and building things with duct tape. Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, that's like a normal thing for construction, right? I like, think so. That's how you keep. Yeah, the, I'm the, pretty sure this whole building is put together by duct tape. That's how you hold the, yeah. the like the joints of the building together. Like <laughs> you frame it out. True. I'm, I'm sure they use duct tape. Ooh. Oh, first kills already happened. First elimination gonna be Smexy. He's gonna be taken out, so that's gonna be a rough start. He's gonna need to show up big in game two and game three. Gonna be something to watch out for. He was Player a fell to their death. Oh. M1 also a little bit of a. Uh, Rough start there. Uh, so Smexy was fourth ranked in this one. He was in position four. Again, it, it's one of those things where you've got to show up, and you have to show up right now. You can get ranks when you're able to grind all season, mm -hmm. but how can you do in a tournament setting when you need to perform right now these matches? Pretty Bond Girl, talk about her, has all the wins. Can she maintain that, though? Can she translate that into wins in this environment? Well, she's got a few people in the general area, but doesn't look like anyone is actually on top of her. Looks like she'll pretty much be good to loot for now. She's playing very, very carefully and safe, though. I think she hears vehicles on the outside. Yeah, she probably does there. Robin H1, no backpack, has himself a, uh, at least has a helmet, has some weapons to get a fight here. And it looks like he's keeping an eye out for, uh, I'm going to say Mikkel? Mikaleli? Mikaleli, like yeah. Mikaleli? Well, Mousley's going to go down as well, though. So we've already lost two players, and it has not been that long. Yeah, it's only been a few minutes, and oof, rough start zone. So this zone has very few oh. POIs within it. It's going to be a lot of open fields. These guys, especially players like uh, Starshipper, Morningstar, Vice, all the way up in the northeast corner of the map in Ranchito, they've got a long distance to travel to get down there to that circle. Oh. They're going to need to they're going to need to get there pretty quick. Robin does hunt down his prey and he's going to take out Megalela and you can see him looting that the brand candy. new uh yeah, the little uh the little pumpkin pail there. So, that's actually the first time that they have a themed holiday item in the game that's not like a skin that you wear on your body, but something that actually happens in the world. I think that's amazing. It's just those little things that just little engagement shows, hey, we're here, we're listening, we're working, we're doing things. You, you got to still have fun with it, though. Right, so, exactly. And I think that's a fun little addition, so I'm a fan. PBG in a battle right now with Lagger, though. They're on the opposite sides of these. It looks like she is still trying to take these shots. I don't know if they're going to try to continue the fight. It may not be worth it at this point. It is still early. Zone just on the board. Not sure if taking this fight's the right idea, but PBG is just waiting for Lagger. I mean, you're either in or near the safe zone right here. I believe this might actually just be on the edge of the safe zone. Um, so they don't have far to go. And yeah. Chow H1 has actually changed his name up. Uh, that would be the term that we skipped over stating earlier. It looks like Chow definitely has intentions of bringing the Cod Rush today. Uh, so we'll see if he gets into any early engagements here. But again, they're right on the edge of the safe zone. They don't have to go far. And if you can get the fight and you can do a quick peek there, like Pretty Bongro can catch a quick peek, it's worth. But I don't, I don't know that taking an engagement's worth it quite yet. No. Though you may want to because if you 73 people right now, we got what started at 76, three down. So we're talking the whole the whole field is going into the first circle. Well, Lager's left anyway, so it looks like people doesn't matter. We're talking about things yeah. that don't even matter. I think he, you can see the the ATV is gone, so he smoked that out. We saw the smoke trail yep. come out, smoked it out, took that, and went to the other side. Morning Star and Vice down here. They need to get out of here. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if Vice has a vehicle. Morningstar obviously has the cop car. 
going to be fine. It'll be able to drive all the way over, uh, make it to the zone pretty quick. Gas is spreading already, though, so they're going to want to start moving. This isn't the same situation that you run into on live right now, though, because on live with the um, dynamic gas, we'd already be a gas circle ahead. So gas is a bit more yeah. brutal at the start. We're going to be in a fight here, though, with Nano as he goes into a fight with Luigi. Oh, and that is. nade is going to be close. He's going to be able to sidestep it, but Luigi going to be able to finish him off with that shot. Pretty easy setup once you get them that low. Force them out. Throw the shots on the other side when they come out. Exactly. Easy kill. Really smart play coming in from Luigi here. And doesn't look like he has anybody else. And there's where we're talking about. Vice is gone, but so is Morningstar. Does have a vehicle. But we were kind of hinting and alluding at this. This gas doesn't hurt right now. Yeah, it's, it's not that bad. So he's going to be able to kind of ride the gas all the way down. Uh, he, I expect him, as long as he doesn't flip the car, to make it to the safe zone. Mm -hmm. uh, next week, though, I don't know that I'll feel the same about that, depending on where they land. But but it'll be more yeah. condensed start, too. So I'll be, I'll be curious to see how tight these circles get, where they're going to find. It'll be nonstop action. These games will be so quick. Yeah, and you can see they're the only two in the gas right now. Everybody else is pretty much ahead of it. Um, See if they make it. I, I, I expect them to. Again, I, I don't expect the gas to take them out. Peta also going to be somebody that needs to start moving before the gas catches up to him. So the interesting thing in solos is you still have rotations, but instead of having 15 rotations, you have 75 rotations. And watching how they do that is insane. Yeah, Yaiko going to get eliminated there. It, rotations in solos typically involves more combat than um, once we get into these next circles than you see in a fives event. Because, again, you're, as you said, there's 75 versus 15, so 75 people moving. Uh, 15 players, even 15 teams, even though it's the same number of players, don't take up as much space on the map because you're condensed as a five-man unit in one right. spot. Exactly. Here you're more spread out. There's less area, so sometimes you have to take those fights to get a spot. Well, Kiva is very close to Arrow here, and they have, I think he's very aware that he's got him close by. I mean, you can see that number keep shrinking as he runs over there. Arrow's right behind that van. Kiev, ooh, spotted him out there as Arrow peeked up on the top. And I don't know if they're going to go for it. He's not even bothering pulling out his gun. I don't think he wants it to go through the wall, but Arrow, same thing. I got the Binox? Oh, no, he's got the, uh, sorry, that's the AR in his hand. It looked like the Binox from that angle. MP7, actually. Oh, that's an MP7? Yep. They are on the back. He's got the MP7 ah. there. Got the SMG. Uh, and Arrow, to note, had uh, last showdown, I believe, he actually pulled down a gold AR. He goes basically all no skins at this point, but he has pulled down a uh, gold AR before. So definitely somebody to keep an eye on. He might uh, might show up and surprise some people. Well, not surprise anybody, but he might right. show up big show again up today. Again. Well, I mean, he's still firing those shots, and I, I like this choice of MP7 here because... I think realistically, it's the same thing that they used to do with the shotgun. Just fire the random shot, hope it takes off the helmet. Yep. I, I personally, I like it. MP7, I think I'm one of the people, like this. I know there's a lot of people out there that are kind of anti-MP7 or anti-shotgun. I'm more on the anti-shotgun side. I just have a lot better uh, lot better performance with the MP7 uh, than the shotgun. So mm -hmm. uh, I like it personally. Especially at this range, he's gonna he's gonna have a lot more effectiveness with that MP7 than he will with that shotgun if he decide if Keev does decide to take this fight. And Arrow's gonna be very patient. He's gonna try and bait that out, but he can't wait there too long. Eventually, somebody is going to see him just standing there, and they're gonna take shots. Well, a circle's gonna pull in pretty much just a little bit to the left, not too hard. No heavy shift. It's kind of what you would expect this circle to go to. You can see Chow's dead on in the middle. Chow's just waiting. It, he's, it's a reverse cod rush. Yeah, it's a cod He's waiting weight. for you to walk. It's cod weight. He's yeah. waiting for you to walk into his shotgun this time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, oh. a, it's a totally new strategy from him. He's changing He's changing things up. Reformed. 200 IQ plays. Yep, yep, exactly. Well, Arrow's falling back. I don't think he wants to keep going for Keeve here. No, I, I, it's not worth it over time, especially with the circle closing in and people possibly coming out of the gas and getting stuck there. Arrow's going to be in a close-range fight here for a second. Keith throwing those shots actually as, I think, Nair, Nair, Nairwit? Nair, Nairwit? I, Nairwit. Nairwit sounds good. Uh, oh, goes flying through. Though. David looking for the fight with him, though. Comes right up on the backside. They are trading shots. You can see that armor pop. That was the helmet that right the there helmet. off him. Yep, helmet off, and Dave's going to try and get out of there. He's going to lose another helmet there. And he is going to be able to escape just barely. He's out of gas, though. Cars 
doing fairly bad, actually. It's it's pretty beat up, so he's not going to be yeah. able to use that car for very long. He now looking for the fight with Arrow again here. Not able to connect. Still firing shots, though. Arrow and Keith, this battle is taking forever. Yeah, they, they it's just, just, they it's just a standoff. Yeah, the, uh, Arrow knows he has better positions. He's keep running out the back and fire some shots. Ooh. What a two-tap coming in from Arrow. Well, that fight took a long time to spin up, yeah, and, and it took time. a short amount of time to yeah. end. I think that's kind of the – that's the tension build of – H1 or Battle Royale is just period, right? Mm -hmm. It's that build up, the way trying to get the fight. And eventually, when it does happen, it's quick combat and quick eliminations. Some nice shots there from Aspect as he gets a couple hits into Pampers, gets him so down to low. one shot, and Pampers narrowly going to make it inside, gets behind some hard cover, going to be able to heal up. You see those shoddy mains nearby, so is Augie, Exo, and there's a bunch of people that if he even remotely peaked right now, there's a potential for him to get killed. If yeah, he's close. he's he's yeah. not gonna be. He is well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> I guess he can hear me. He's, <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, yeah. Not gonna. He's got the huspa. All right. Gonna get a little bit of loot here again. We're still technically early. It feels like we're far into a match because if in a dynamic gas match right. we would be farther into it. Um, but this is this is the normal mode, kind of what we were playing in H1PL. It's mm -hmm. the standard gas system. Uh, so we're not going to see those fights quite yet. Vice, 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 Vice and how late he's coming in. Game, yeah. he's, I mean, the long rotation, he's going for that late game. He doesn't want to go for the kills, which is a thing, and that's a pretty hard shift. That one's going to pull pretty hard to the left. I would say almost 80% of the map is on the right of that, the players. Yeah, this is this is the circle where we start seeing in, in a solo environment, we start seeing the eliminations roll in. You you can't maintain 70 players in this next right. circle. There's enough room right now where everybody will kind of just like not want to give away their position even if they see somebody, so they may not take shots. Everybody's kind of hiding out, uh, trying to find little ditches to lay in, hide behind, uh, behind rocks or find a building. Uh, in this next one, you're not going to have enough room for that we're probably going to lose quite a few players on this next gas rotation and then the one after that will basically be how fast can we talk to try and keep up with right. that kill feed. Ooh, but right in front of us lagger inside that building just open the door valley was right there is that vi vi was right there they're right right on top of each other right now but i'm not sure again we don't know if they want to go for it but you're right you're running out of room you have to go for kills at this point you're going to have to in about, oh, uh, 15 seconds here. Yep. So. Oh, Lagger's coming around the side. Vi's hiding behind that dumpster. I don't know if Vi, oh, Vi's realized it must have hurt him, so he's going to come back inside. ATV hiding in there. He could take that and run if he really wanted to and leave Lagger in a pretty tough spot. That's going to be that awkward thing where you open the door and 100% chance, I'm forecasting it now, that thing gets stuck in the door as you try and leave. Mm. You don't kill the person first. That is true. You definitely got to eliminate that other player first. Ooh, looks for the first shot. Not able to get the connection elsewhere on the map. Bis OW going to go down to Dandis. Gets the first hit. Lagger going to take down Vi. Gets a hit on himself in the in the middle of that. Only takes off the armor, though. 56 health. He's going to be fine. Heal up. He's going to get a little bit of loot. Also going to have that ATV to get out of there for his rotation. There what? In this battle with Bam... can't even see that name. Bam Books on the Flux. I like that. Bam Books on the Flux. Has that gas grenade in front of him right now. Nier's really using that kind of as cover for the time being, keeping him a little bit of a distance, pushed back, not allowing him to move up. Bambux has no clue where Nier what is right now, but he's starting to take shots in the back, and he is going to end up having to show himself to Bambux and probably try and take that fight. Bambux now well aware of where he is. Molotov going to come out, try and force him off that tree. Nier what just trying to find a spot that is safe to, to combat this back from. He's playing this so calmly, though, like getting shot Ooh. from behind like that, losing a helmet. It looks like the player from behind has left him alone at this point. No helmet back on yet. He may be out of helmets completely. Ooh, that could be tough. You can hear, it looks like Bambux has an ATV. He moved over. Now Ooh. getting hit from behind once again. Narwa down to one hit. This is going to be tough. He's just pushing up, trying to go for this. Wants to at least take Bambux. If he's going down, he wants to take someone with him, but it doesn't look like it. He's surviving. 
I don't know how he's surviving. Bambucks apparently has oh. left. Never mind. Bambucks found him. I was like, there's no way he's making it through this, right? Oh, Tom gonna go down. I'll throw on the map. So is Miss uh, Mix Korea. Bambucks mm. gonna catch himself. Another quick elimination with a shotgun headshot. And Carlson gonna go down to Luigi. Luigi getting his second, I think his second or third elimination of the match. Well, that did not pay off for that player for Adam there at all. Just pushing in. Thought he could maybe find a weakened player, but it just did not happen. Yeah, and this gas is starting to take off. Again, that circle we were looking at before on the map, guys, is going to be down there to the west side. Many going to come right out aggressively through that window and just destroy Raiden with a shotgun pump. Uh, but it, it is pulling to the west side of the previous circle that we saw. Tazix now getting an elimination. Shoddy Man getting one. Um, it, this is the circle where these fights are breaking out. We've already seen 14 people eliminated just leading up to the gas taking off. And now the gas is pushing. We're going to see a lot more of these kills start to roll in. And we're seeing the shotgun become so much more of a um, centerpiece of everything. And there's another shotgun kill right there. And another. And another, another because the, the range, you don't have, everybody's being pushed together. So you're seeing this happen so much more. And at this point, you can see Vidra's taking damage from that gas pretty quick. Ooh. Now on fire as well. There's no way he gets out of that. He gets taken out. And Arrow actually found Bambooks after he found those two kills. Yeah, so Arrow's got himself a couple of eliminations. Again, he's somebody to watch for. He's somebody that performed very well in the last showdown. Uh, Lagger here, somebody that plays for uh, Team Bay. Strong squad. Looks like he's keeping himself up, laying down in that smoke, trying to get a little bit of healing off. Magic, by the way, down underneath the bridge here. Looks like Manny's going to step out, take a couple shots. Not going to find anything, though. Nothing sent home. He did put on his armor there, so he's ready to get a fight. He knows that he's about to be in those close-range battles. A lot of times you'll see players drop them for the long range. That way they do have them for later because they are a little bit more rare. But Lyric's pushing up, gets a kill on the H Slayer right there. Easy. Yeah, it doesn't happen quite as often in solos that you take your armors off unless you really have a spot to do it. Two more shotgun kills rolling in. Crudenson, definitely another player to keep an eye out yep. for. He's somebody that can definitely crush this one out. Magic, by the way, going to find himself a, a shoddy kill as well. And then we're going to hop over and Dandis finds an elimination on Dan O'Hay. But Mura versus Askey. Askey is nuts. I just watched this guy play my tournament 1v3 multiple times in it. He's a monster. He's definitely somebody to watch out for in this fight versus Mura. Well, the thing is, though, Mura has the position, Ooh. but was blinded out there. Askey does not care. He does not care that you have position. Nothing matters to this man. He is coming to eliminate you, and that is exactly what's going to end up happening here if he there can find a shot through that smoke. Mura very low. Askey does find it with that shotty through the smoke. Able to finish him off. Ooh, pretty Bond girl there with the shotty kill onto Lyrics. Taz is going to go down to Duncan Official. And that right there. Again, Bubble has burst, and it looks like the gas will actually claim the life of Lit or that's the gas grenade from Ostergaard will get that kill. Dennis goes down as well. Magic pushing up to this rock. You can see he's just Clyde off in the distance. The bubble has absolutely burst here. This is nonstop action right now. Yeah, Magic in a fight on both sides at the moment. We also saw as we got off a of pretty Bond girl before, it was in a uh, fight with Arrow. So that's another one to keep an eye on. Subet, another person that I've seen play it just for a long time. Subet's been around for a while. Ooh. Gonna get mollied here, and that's gonna be from Osher through the window. I think Subet's just going to sit that and just go ahead and heal through it. In comes a frag. He's going to have to avoid that one. Makes it into the other room there. Magic, by the way, going to get taken down by a molly from Robin. Elsewhere on the map. And the shot, he's going to eliminate Subet here as Osher pushes in and catches him, trying to switch from uh, switch his way back into the bathroom. Yeah, more cover in that bathroom, but just a bad trade. And there's two people right in front of Kuba. Sal is actually, oh, that was rough. Molly himself. Has a gas grenade on the back, didn't want to push into it, and did die out. He'll smoke himself off there, but... Yeah, he'll be all right. He'll be able to heal up. I don't think the other player is pushing quite yet. Yeah, Solace is still waiting on the outside, slowly moving forward. Doesn't look like he wants to push it, but Ada just came in as well, and now he's going to have to deal with that. And we're waiting for the smoke to clear out so they can see each other, and this is going to be a big one. Ada is going to look for this fight. He can hear him right inside the window. He's just trying to use the edge of the smoke. Oh. Askey going to walk right through, and Ada catches Askey coming into the smoke. It was That's like, a big elim. Yeah, well, you were saying Askey, absolute beast. Askey's a monster. Very, very quickly there. So much going on. I don't even know where to begin right now. Serial killer. 
trying to get that ATV as it rides across. Not going to see it. Sees another player off in the distance. I like this zone right now where they're at. There's a lot of different levels to it. Ooh, Just the arrow going to go down. Oh. Ooh, hunting rifle in play. Uh, Tilbix? Tilbix? Tilbix, that's what I'm going with. Uh, takes down Ostergar with the, uh, with the hunting rifle. So first time we're seeing that in play here today. Mm -hmm. Pretty Bond girl still doing really well. Still in this one. Almost at that top 10, and uh, you know, as I said, I... We were you talking. average top 10 every time, you'll make top 10. That is very true, very true. I was not, I wasn't sure how she was going to do today. Uh, I know she's insane, but in competitive, it's just a little bit different, but it looks like she's doing pretty well, and she's about to push in. Yeah, it's definitely a different pacing in a competitive match, especially in something like this. Um, it's interesting to see people try and make that transition over. Chow finds himself a kill with a grenade. That wasn't a shotgun. Chow, what are you doing? Pipetta taking shots from Swi-Fi. That grenade will come down. Going for the Kobe. Does not, does not look like it landed. Ada actually does get taken out by Kuba. So Kuba's surviving in that cabin. Ooh. And oh, Swi-Fi can't do it. Pipetta wins and down goes Duncan Official as well. Fow's there. He's going to go down. It is just... A brutal... It is a shotgun fiesta. Yeah, shotgun fiesta. I like it. I like it a lot. So, ton of shotties going out. We're down to 11. This is the bubble going into top 10. This is kind of what you're shooting for, right? You want to make mm -hmm. top 10. Uh, nobody wants... This is one of those moments where sometimes you'll see it slow back down again because nobody wants to go down in 11. No. 11 feels well, like 75th. We're almost. about to find out who it's going to be, and it's going to be Osher. Serial killer. Down in 11th. Serial killer winning, winning the uh, the clutch fight there. You gotta win it to make it to top 10. Pretty Bond girl get tagged up here from Salas and Creepy. Able to get out of there though. Robin now in a shotgun battle. Ooh. Gonna go down here to Serial Killer as Sally's dies to Papetta elsewhere on the map. And now, shots coming down from Pretty Bond Girl, clutching up at 7% health and getting that elimination onto Papetta. And now the really nice thing about this is she has no one behind her. She's in a great spot with Pipetta being down so, like, I'm sorry, Pipetta being out of this. Now Morningstar's in front, but now Koopa, and again, these shotgun battles are so strong, finds the armor of Creepy. Oh, but Pretty Bone Girl does get taken out, she's pushed into Morningstar. Now we're down to our top five. And Koopa gonna go down to the gas as it pushes in. He was trying to find some hard cover to get some healing off. Gas is right there to meet him, though. Sorry, no heals today. Down to top four. Serial Killer looking for a couple shots, I think, over onto Tilbix. And this circle is closing in. And guess who's still in it? The boy Chow. Chow is still in it. You're right. Chow, Chow did not live up to the Cod Rush. No, I, I feel like he didn't the, bring his name I, into I feel this. Like, I feel like he put Cod Rush on the front of it, and then it was Maybe a bait, it was a bait switch. Yeah, it was a bait a switch. Game. That's what it was. His All right. goal is just to make you think he's going to rush you. And he just wants win. you to know that he's in the game and that you should fear any car coming mm. near you. That's what it is. He's Fair just trying enough. to put people on tilt. But we are down to Chow, Serial Killer, and Morningstar. Morningstar has a nice little spot here using this ridge line. He can actually walk it all the way up to the bridge without Serial Killer or uh, Chow being able to see him. Question is, has the zone actually worked in his favor? Serial's going to push up. Throws the ATV off, smokes himself off, so they're going to try to use this utility. Definitely to his yeah, advantage. Yeah, it is on his advantage. It's a completely on that ridge. So, yeah, I he mean. The circle's just center now. That's all they're going to do mm -hmm. for the most part. There's very little, you know, variation shifting in shifting. Um, so he could walk it down that ledge, but both players are looking his direction. Chow, bringing Ooh, back the Z1 the Bush Wookie, mixing it with the snake in the grass. That is a that is a double oh. move. That is clutch strats right there. Turns the shots onto Serial Killer, getting tagged from both sides. He's looking to get that Elim on the left side on Serial Killer. That, be, that seems to be the one that he is focusing. But Serial Killer not coming out, not giving him a chance to get a shot. He's just going to lay down and hope that he he's just, <laughs> spray, he's just spraying at this point. His movement, though, is absolutely insane. And his target switching is doing so well. That Don't lay the molly. Don't, Don't lay the molly. Don't one G it. I thought he was done there. Yeah, I, I, really, I, I, I really thought he was did. done. Yeah. All right, so he's still oh, holding on to the Hurt. Yeah, he's got heels yeah. rolling. He's going to oh. not survive. He's going to end up finally going down to Serial Killer in the back. So Morningstar versus Serial Killer to take down match number one. Morningstar, I think, a little bit better position to be able to rotate when this circle pushes yep. in a little bit more. Also has the uh, body armor on. I don't think Serial Killer has a makeshift, so I think he's basically up a shot already in this fight. 
He's going to rotate up towards the center as Serial Killer tries to rotate down onto that ledge. Gets tagged once, twice. This one and he over. gets just yeah. ripped apart. Serial Killer going to take down match number one of the EU showdown. Well, I mean, that top three was great. I loved the positioning that they had. The ability, 